and welcome to day six of Vlogmas. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is so hoarse. Blech. Can't talk today. So for today's Vlogmas, I'm going to be making a Christmas tree and talking about Christmas trees and felines. Well, cats. I'm trying not to say cats too much because it sets the dog off. Even though she's sleeping downstairs, she's hearing like... What well, animal listen hears really well? I don't know, like a, well, like a dog, really. She's got, like, radar ears, hears everything. But, Christmas trees. Usually, when I was growing up, I had a real tree, which is really pretty and smells nice and stuff, but you get up in the morning and you step on pine needles, and then it's like, bastard! Oh, no, I would have been, like, eight, so maybe I wasn't saying bastard, or maybe I was. I swear, like, I swore a lot as a kid. Not around my mom, because, you know... Don't do that. I wasn't supposed to. But, back to the trees. I added a bit of texture to this, just to... Because, like, it, need, it was too flat. needed a bit of bumpy texture to it. But, yeah, so cats and trees. We had a cat, too, named M-Head. Yeah, that's right. M-Head, because, you know, great tabby cat had an M on his head. And we couldn't figure out what to name him. Big, gray, tabby cat. Tom cat. Big, freaking not fat, big big cat. But he never messed with our tree oddly enough. So when I see all these people that have cats, they all mess up the tree and stuff. I'm like, I've never had to deal with that, thankfully. Dogs? But either from chasing a cat or just from hitting the tree with their tail, because they're so happy wagging their tail. Or like the Great Dane just falling into the tree. But that Great Dane was dumb as a rock. Even before he got into the rat poison. He was dumb as a rock. Worse after the rat poison, but don't worry, we took him to the vet. But, um, didn't eat enough to kill him, but he was kind of, ooh, but, but yeah, no, he, he was, like I said, dumb before the rat poison, worse after the rat poison. So, big Great Dane, you can imagine, into the tree, down goes the tree, onto the dog. But that's okay. You know, it wasn't a huge, well, it was a real tree at that time, was it? Yeah, it was. But that, that's okay. But no, I've never had a deal with a cat. I'm losing my voice. That's probably from yelling at the dog. And because when we go for a car ride, all she does is bloody bark in the back. And it's probably from that. And I know I shouldn't yell at the dog because it does fuck all. I know that. But, you know, hey. It's like, just stop barking, dog. And I'm going to see. <coughs> I should edit that out, but I'm not. Because I don't really care. People sneeze. I sneeze quite loud. Well, less, I, that wasn't that loud, but I sneeze quite loud. I don't go, it's you. It's like, just bloody frickin' sneeze instead of going, it's you. It's like, oh, God in hell. You're trying to be ladylike. Screw it. Just sneeze. But anyway, back to the tree. Just I put a star on the tree. I'm trying to remember, did we have stars when I was growing up on the tree? I think we had an angel, actually, on the tree most of the time. Like an old angel. But I can't remember, because that was a while ago. Like I said, here we have a fake tree, which is fine, because I don't have to vacuum up pine needles, which is great. And it's not going to set on fire if it gets too dry, which is a possibility. So, you know. <laughs> but we'll probably put the tree up maybe the beginning of this week. Maybe. Probably. If I get we get time. Possibly. But i got to watch the dog, because so, he's making everybody sneeze in the house, which is why I sneeze. And I'm going to sneeze again, even though... I don't think I'm allergic to the dog. Possible, but quite possible. Who knows? Hubby is definitely. That is why the dog has to get bathed again. But, um, anyway, I was talking about trees, not dogs. Trees and cats. But yeah, no, our cat never attacked the tree, oddly enough. We never had to fish him down from the tree. He was actually a pretty good cat. He would shake a paw and sit on command and stuff. Mom got really bored one day when we were at school. We came back from school and she's like, here, watch this. And showed us the cat does tricks, which is possible because if you got food, they'll do anything. Usually, so it's a cat, so you know, hey, they will if they want. But he was, like I said, big home cat, nice cat, was friendly and stuff. But one of those cats that if you're walking by, like a stairway or a wall or something, he'll hide and then jump out and on you at you and latch onto your leg and stuff and try to kill your leg. But I mean, I've got scars all over my hands and my arms from him still, and that was, ooh, God, I would have been 17, no, 12, 13 when we first got him, I think. I'm trying to remember. I think I was 12 or 13 when we first got him. I have pictures of him as a kitten still, and pictures of him when he's older, but 
Um, yeah, no, no cats here. There's enough cats outside, um, which is, I find really odd. Nobody keeps, well, people keep their cats inside, but occasionally most people let their cats out and let them free roam because they're wild animals. They've probably been domesticated for thousands of years. They're not wild animals. They're just end up killing all the birds and stuff, which is a big bugbear of mine. And now I'm ranting, but that's okay, considering this was supposed to be a nice story about cats and trees. But no, <laughs> apparently not. He said, I like cats. I'm not allergic. Hubby's allergic. At least I don't think I'm allergic. Maybe I am. Who knows? But <laughs> hopefully not because I'm not allergic to the dog. But could be. Um, would make sense. But I've had dogs almost my whole life. So it's possible. Who knows? Um, but, you know, she's 10. So she could live another two to five years. Collies live a long time. They just kind of keep going and going until they just stop. I'm mean, a cat. I don't know how old the cat was, but he's up there. But yeah, we took him, the cat, our dog at the time, a black lab, big black lab, nice black lab. Me, my sister, and my mom driving from Ontario to Alberta in a week, three, four days. I can't remember how long. So that was fun with the cat in the back and the dog. So the cat was in a harness, and he loved that. Not really. But what time of year was that? That was spring? Actually, I don't remember. All I remember is seeing a, when we got to Alberta, a comet. So if I could figure out what time the comet was, then, yeah. I think, I can't remember which comet it was. But, <laughs> this has gone completely off topic. So this is my tree. I thought the star needed a little bit of a base to it. Because it didn't look right sitting on top of the pointy part of the tree. And it needed, the tree itself needed, like, look, look, look more like leaves. So we pulled them. But, yeah, so this completely gone off topic. <laughs> That's okay. Finished tree turntable, which is quite cool. I like how shiny it made it. Hubby did this on his computer again because mine would have been like, nope. And then some stills, which just to give a, because the turntable is about eight seconds long. It is very shiny. An overhead view, which I think is really cool. But today, so, ugh, ramble together. So thank you for watching, and I can't seem to talk today between sneezing and coughing. This is a great video, and me rambling about a cat in a tree, which completely went nowhere, but that's okay. And then, so tomorrow I'm going to be, I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. Maybe a collie? I don't know. Or I could do a dragon. It just depends on what I figure out to do. So thank you for watching.